Hey guys, what's up? So it has been a while since I've done a video and as promised doing my uh, concert talk video and I'm this is going to be on a uh, Vans Warped Tour 2015. I went to the Hartford date as I do every year for the past other two years I've been. I've been in to 13, 14, now 15 to the Hart yeah the Hartford date it was July 12th on a Sunday. Um, same place it always is, the Xfinity Theater. Um, lucky enough to get in for free thanks to my cousin Derek. My cousin Derek is the guitarist of Family Force 5 and his band is playing the Unicorn stage um, throughout the whole Vans Warp Tour so that's exciting. And he uh, got me in for free. We were on a list. We went to a guest list and then um, they gave us, instead of a ticket, they gave us this bracelet and it says no escort needed. Property of Family Force 5, Vans Warped Tour. So this was kind of like our ticket in. So instead of an actual ticket. And then I always do the recycle can feed our children now thing. I usually always give one of my cell phones, one of my used cell phones away. So we also got the skip the line pass, which we really needed this because we came super late. I wasn't the one driving, my friend was, and she's always late to things. So I think we got, we actually like got to the line around like a little bit past 11, but we got this and it kind of saved us a lot more time uh, getting in. Cause I was planning on seeing a lot of bands this year and I was really excited. Um, I only got to see five bands this year because we had to leave around like 5.30. The first band we saw play was Miss May I. Um, I don't really know a lot of their songs. I don't really listen to them. When I do listen to them, I think they're actually a really good band. They're really heavy and aggressive and they showed that when they played. There's a lot of like die hard Miss May I fans too and I guess they have like an army and I wasn't aware of how dedicated the fan base is to Miss May I but I think that's really awesome. Um, so we saw their set. The second band we saw was Senses Fail, which is was one of the bands on my top list to see. Um, I got into their music a lot when I found out that they were playing Warp Tour, just because I remember listening to like a few of their singles, like Can't Be Saved, Buried a Lie, and they played like amazing songs. They played like two new songs off the new record. Uh, they played Buried a Lie, Can't Be Saved, Calling All Cars, um, Bite to the Skin or something. I think that's how the title goes. If I'm wrong below, you guys can help me out with that. But that song was probably my favorite that they did live because that breakdown scream part was so fun to get into the pit and I don't know, it was just really good. Um, so they played that. They also played Renaissance, I believe, off of the album before this new one. And his screams, uh, Buddy's screams were fantastic. They were really good. And he has a lot of energy on stage too, which I really like. Um, so they did great. They were definitely one of my favorite bands there. And then after their set, um, Buddy was at his at the merch tent, and I got to meet him. So here's a picture of us and my squinty eyes. You know, you know. But uh, yeah, he was really nice, really sweet. I told him that he did amazing and. Yeah, got a picture with him. Well, we also went to see We Came As Romans play. That wasn't really a planned thing either, um, like the Miss Mad thing. It kind of was just like, oh, this band's playing. My friend Lydia really wanted to see We Came As Romans, and I haven't listened to them in really a long time. Probably the last time I listened to We Came As Romans is when their second album came out. I just... I'm not a fan of their clean vocalists, but live, I think they bring a good energy, and their screamer live is, like, top-notch. So, overall, I think they did really good. Um, the clean vocalist guy, I don't know what his name is, he went on this inflatable raft thing and had, like, the crowd, like, carry him. We took a break, and we, like, sat in this little spot that was near, like, this... VIP patio thing and like you had to have like a wristband or something to get in. I don't think it was Warp Tour related at all but I noticed that there was a lot of people from Warp Tour like artists, bands and stuff that were walking in and out of this thing. Um, the two vocalist guys, the, the lead vocalist and then the vocalist slash bassist of Man Overboard, they were also, they like walked in there and my friend gave them 
an awkward wave and then the bassist guy vocalist guy was like sup <laughs> christopher drew and the drummer of uh, never shout never they both walked by like twice which was really funny um i've actually met the drummer uh before when i saw them live like three years ago but it was just funny to see christopher drew like literally saw him walk out <laughs> And I was like, Christopher! And he looks at me and he kind of just walks away. Like, I don't think he knew where that scream was coming from. But it was really cool to yell at Christopher Drew. And he was like a few feet away from me. The last time when I saw them live, he was actually a few feet away from me too. But So I just thought it was funny. And then when he was walking back, this group of people that was more closer to this entrance thing was near us. So... He, like, he was like, oh, I'll talk to you guys for a couple minutes. And then me and my friends were, like, scared to talk to him. But we were about to come up and talk to him. And he's like, I really have to go. He's like, bye. And I'm like, are you kidding me? And I was literally, like, a foot away from him. Not even. We, we were kind of next to each other. To see Transit play, which is one of my favorite bands. They're my favorite pop punk band. Um, one of the best bands on Rise Records, in my opinion. I'm a huge fan. Um, I love how they represent New England and they just have a really proud fan base and they're proud of where they're from and stuff. And I saw them live last year with um, May Parade. So I was really excited to see what kind of energy they would bring to Warp Tour this year and they were phenomenal. Like they were so much fun. We got so close and there was a bunch of dudes around me and we were just going hard and I screamed every word to every song because um, I know pretty much all their songs. Um, they played Long Lost Friends, Skipping Stone, Asleep at the Wheel, um, Nothing Lasts Forever, Follow Me off of the new album, as well as The Only One, Rest to Get Better, or, um, Needed to See My Cousin's Band, Family Force 5. That was one of the bands I was most excited to see because I saw them at Soul Fest in 2012 and they did really great and they are always one of those bands that has a huge crazy uh stage performance that's kind of like what they're known for and seeing them live is not comparable to the recordings on the albums because i think if you see them live you'll just like their music 10 times better um they did a lot of like cool dance stuff and it was really fun it was kind of like a dance party they played most of their new songs. They played one really old song, Love Addict, which was off their first album. And most of the songs they played um, were more recent songs. They played Berserk, Chainsaw, Sweep the Leg, This Is My Year, Zombie. So, got to meet the whole band at their merch table. I wanted to say a big thank you to Derek also in this video. Thank you, Derek, for being so nice to me really appreciate it um this is a picture of the whole band here um the guy in the blue shirt with the sunglasses and short blonde hair is my uh, cousin derek um aka chapstick in the band friend got really sick like she was puking we had to go to the first aid people thing and uh they wanted her to go home or go in an ambulance so we took her home we missed I wanted to see As It Is, This Wildlife, Amorosa, and um, Pierce the Veil. Well, my friends wanted to see Pierce the Veil more than I did, but either way, it was still a great warp tour. And now, let me show you guys the haul or the, the stuff I got. The first thing I guess I'll show you guys is this Amorosa uh, t-shirt. I really wanted the... Um, the black one with the yellow letters, it has like their Nirvana kind of style font and then it has like a fox and I love that shirt and when I saw that they were selling it, I wanted it. And I remember seeing it the morning of when I walked by their tent but when I came back in the afternoon it was gone and the guy's like, yeah we sold out of it. So this was kind of my second choice and it says Amorosa versus. Oh yeah, Beartooth was another band I wanted to see. And I forgot to mention this, I technically saw them play like one and a half songs. They played Body Bag. I saw like the whole song for Body Bag because I wanted to get merch before we left. So their merch table was right near where they played at the Monster Stage, which was super convenient. 
and I saw them play Body Bag and I think a little tiny bit of I Have a Problem. I saw them last year so I'm not that upset that I didn't get to see them this year but God, ugh, Beartooth is just one of those bands that's just so raw and passionate. Um, I got this flag. It's huge. Like this flag is ginormous. It says Bear Tooth. Then it has this skull thing. Like literally this flag is huge. You could use it as a blanket. I will put it up somewhere on my wall when I find a place and rearrange stuff. This flag was only 10 bucks and it's ginormous. So I got this bear tooth disgusting shirt. I just thought it was really like basic. It has the B on it. I didn't really like a lot of their merch this year besides the tie-dye shirt with the coffin on it. But I have enough tie-dye band shirts so I kind of, I just got this. This is the Sunsys Fail stuff I got when I met Buddy. Um, I got their CD. But I wanted to have him sign this, but I bought everything after he left. Like, because when he was done taking the picture with me, he just left. Like, he had to go. So, I got all this stuff after he left. Um, so, I got their new CD. It was only $5. Pull the thorns from your heart. And I really liked the two songs they played live from it. And then I also got this shirt. And I, I loved this shirt when I saw it. It's green tie-dye, which is my favorite. And it has senses fail with this little, the male, female, thingy, whatever, LGBT symbol. And then it says queer hardcore on the back. And I just thought it was funny as hell. And I just really wanted this because it was, it's green tie-dye. Um, when I went to meet my cousin's band and stuff, he actually gave me this shirt for free. So thank you again, Derek. But I got uh, this shirt and it's Family Force 5, like it says FF5 with the tiger, like a giant angry tiger on it. And I'm like, is this too much? And I was like, you know what, screw it. I just really want this shirt. So it has a tiger with Philly Force 5. And then they all signed it on the back here, which I thought was amazing. Never Shot Never's Tent, that was another band I wanted to see. And we actually like left right when they started playing. So I was pretty upset, but I got this shirt. It says, hey, we okay? Never Shout Never. Since I didn't see As It Is play, like, I love Patty Walters, and I really wanted to meet Patty Walters, but I didn't. But when I went to their tent, um, their lead guitarist, I don't know his name, but I got to talk to him for a little bit with the merch guy about this wildlife, because I was wearing a This Wildlife shirt when I saw them. And But they were sold out of their CD, and I'm like, I have to get something by this band, because I'm not going to be able to see them. I don't love their music. I love, I like most of the singles and most of the songs off of the new album, but I'm not like a huge huge fan. I just love Patty Walters, but um, I have this shirt that says Never Happy Ever After, and I just, I really like it because it has, it's funny, it has that Nirvana like writing on it, and it's just really simple, and it's in maroon, and I'm like, I don't have a maroon shirt, so why don't I get this? The schedule, there's the schedule for it, and the map is on the back. Thank you guys uh, for watching this video. Uh, comment and subscribe for more because I will do more concert talk videos. Give this video a like if you liked it. And um, hopefully I... If you guys go to the Hartford date next Warp Tour or the Warp Tour before that or if you saw me at this Warp Tour, you know, comment me down below. Let me know down there. If, you have, if you're planning on going to Warp Tour this year for the rest of the tour, go see Family Force 5. You will not regret it. They're playing the Unicorn stage, one of the main stages at Warp Tour. They're great. Anyways, guys, stay brutal and stay tuned for more videos. See you guys later.